welcome to my channel Chibi Chibi Chef Insta Japanese Cooking. Today I like to make a very useful dashi based soy sauce. Just two dishes with the sauce. Dashi soy sauce is very easy to make and it's milder and a sweeter than a usual soy sauce. Usually in Japan, we make this dashi soy sauce with dried panito flakes and kombu, which is kelp. But this time, I'm just going to be using this dashi powder pot to make it simple. If you use the kombu dashi powder instead of the bonito mix one, all the dishes I'm going to be sharing today will be vegan too. Okay, let's make the dashi soy sauce first. It's super easy to make and you just put all the ingredients in a pot and let it come to a quick boil for about 5 seconds. After boiling for 5 seconds, then turn off the heat. The milling has a little bit of alcohol in it, so we need to boil it to let some of the alcohol evaporate. And you can keep the dashi soy sauce in the fridge for about a few weeks. So make some and you can use it anytime you want. Then let's cook some dishes with the soy sauce now. The first dish is cooked spinach with dashi soy sauce. In Japanese, this kind of cooked veggie with dashi based sauce dish is called ohitashi. Ohitashi is a common side dish in Japan. Today, I'm using spinach for this dish, but you can also use other vegetables like kale, okura, eggplant, and other leafy greens. First, put the spinach on a plate and place the paper towel on the top of the spinach to cover. Then microwave it for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Take the spinach out of the microwave and let it cool for a while. When it gets cooler, scrape the spinach with the paper towel as much as you can to soak up the water as it will become soggy otherwise. Place the spinach in a bowl, add the dashi soy sauce and sesame seeds, then mix well. That's it! Chill or serve right away. Keep in mind the spinach will shrink a lot. It's really amazing to see the amount of veggies you can eat in this dish. Okay, let's get to the second dish. This time, I'm gonna cook my favorite rice bowl called yaki onigiri in Japanese. It's a tasty grilled rice bowl. Yaki means grilled and onigiri means rice bowl in Japanese. This is one of my favorite Japanese comfort foods. First, prepare cooked rice and place it in a bowl. Then add 2 tablespoons of dashi soy sauce and mix well. Short grain rice is stickier than a long grain rice and far easier to make rice bowl with. So please get the short or medium grain white rice for this recipe. Once the soy sauce is mixed with the rice evenly, divide the mixture into two sections and make two rice balls. To make rice balls, it's easier to use plastic wrap, so place a sheet of plastic wrap on your palm and then rice ball on top. Then wrap the rice and by using your fingers, squeeze, flip, and turn the rice ball several times to form it into a triangle shape. For yaki onigiri, it's better to tightly pack the rice balls so that they don't fall apart when brewing them later.
If it's too difficult to make a triangle shape, just shape it like a thick burger patty by using the kitchen surface like this. Also, to make a nicely shaped rice bowl, it might take a little practice, so don't get discouraged. Now it's time to grill the rice balls. Add 1 teaspoon of sesame oil or vegetable oil on a non-stick pan and grill the rice balls over medium heat. Grill one side until it gets golden brown and crispy like this. Then flip to the other side. It will take about 3 to 5 minutes to get this crispy surface. After grilling both sides of the rice bowls, if you have the time, grill the small sides too. Then you have super crispy rice bowls. For the side, just grill for 1 minute each for one side is fine. Then you will get this beautiful crispy yakiori gire. It might be a little bit difficult to grill the size of the round shaped rice balls, but please be careful not to burn yourself. Yaki onigiri is very crispy outside, but the inside is warm and soft. Thanks to the dashi soy sauce, I can taste the mild dashi flavor and it's so nice and comforting. I really want everyone to try this. This time, I tried multiple dishes with the yaki onigiri. All of them can be your quick breakfast, lunch, or late night snack. The first one is cheese yaki onigiri. I added some cheese on top of the yaki onigiri and grilled them in an oven. This one is with vegan cheese and black pepper. This one is with a mozzarella blend mix with sisal leaves on top. Then this is called yaki onigiri chazuke. It's basically yaki onigiri with dashi soup. It's one of my favorite izakaya menu dishes in Japan. Izakaya is a Japanese restaurant that serves food and drinks, and this dish can be a good for after drinking too. To make the dashi soup, I just added the dashi powder in a cup of hot water. Then serve the soup with the yaki onigiri. This is also a wonderful Japanese comforting dish, and it can be a healthy late night snack. I always make a few dashi soy sauce rice balls at once and freeze them for later. Then when I want, I just defrost them in the microwave and grill them. You can also freeze the grilled rice balls and microwave them when you want. But to keep the best crispiness, it's better to grill them for a while again or put them in the oven after defrosting. If you make and have this dashi soy sauce at home, you'll be able to cook various dishes with it so easily. It takes only 2 minutes to make the dashi soy sauce, so please try it and enjoy the Japanese dishes more. I'll be making more cooking videos with the dashi soy sauce in the future, so please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you again. Mata ne!